Alright guys, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video I will be talking about an easy problem. Reshape the matrix, its index is 566 and it belongs to the problem from the lead code, right? Okay, so we have to just reshape the matrix and some matrix should be given to us and we have to reshape this matrix to an another matrix whose dimensions will be also given. Okay, so we are given an M into N matrix, let's say mat and two integers R and C representing the row number and the column number of the wanted reshaped matrix that is the new matrix that we want uh, will have the R, num R amount of rows and C amount of columns right the reshaped matrix should be filled with all the elements of the original matrix in the same row traversing order as they are that is as they were like we uh, if we traverse this original matrix in a row wise order like if you try to understand in this way like uh, Okay, so if you start traversing in a row wise order like you are traversing on the first row then you will first traverse like 2 then move to the next column 3, 7, 6 then in the next one you are going to traverse 9, 6, 3, 3 then in the next one 2, 4, 8, 8 and then 7, 6, 5, 5 so if you write down the traversing order you will say first I will traverse the very first column and uh, for the very first column I will traverse for all uh, sorry uh, for the very first row all the columns okay and for traversing all the columns I will start from 1 up to the end right and if we are done with the first column uh, sorry if you are done with the first row then I will move to the second row and I will traverse all columns all columns starting from the very first one and uh, ending up to the last the, uh, note that I am talking about the original matrix right so this is the row traversing order if the reshape operation with the given parameters is legal and possible output the new reshape matrix otherwise output the original matrix note that we have to reshape the matrix in a certain suitable form that is if we have been given such type of matrix like uh, you can see the red colors is going to denote the original matrix and if suppose if we want that if we want to try, like reshape okay so I'm going to try reshape the matrix let's say uh, the original matrix is of 4 into 4 size and we want to reshape the matrix into 8 into 2 so I don't know whether it is possible or not uh, we can check this condition like first we have to check this condition whether it is possible and legal if it is not possible we have to output the new uh, like if it is not possible output the original matrix and if it is possible output the new reshaped matrix okay so let's uh, consider like what is the number of elements present in my original matrix if n is the number of rows okay so if n is the number of rows and m is the number of columns of the original matrix what is the number of elements present in my original matrix you can see number of elements present in my original matrix is n into m okay now consider uh, like uh, what is the new dimension that is the dimensions of the new reshaped matrix it will be given as r and c you can see the examples like first we have been given the original matrix then the dimensions of the new matrix okay so if r and c are the dimensions of new matrix what is the number of elements present in such matrix you can see number of elements present in such matrix r into c so if the initial total number of elements is not matching with the final total number of elements we can say that the reshaping is not possible so i will check if like n into m is not equal to r into c i can say that not possible okay so you need to check this condition to say that whether reshaping is possible or not okay so suppose uh, that we have already checked this condition and whatever will be the result i don't know now consider that uh, reshaping is possible then how we are going to do that reshaping okay so let us work upon this matrix and consider uh, the reshaping as like uh, initial dimension is 4 into 4 and we want 8 into 2 reshaping matrix reshaped matrix like okay so we need to traverse in a row uh, row wise manner like first we need to put 2 then 3 then 7 then 6 you can see the first row is traversed now moving to the second row it should be like 9 6 3 3 okay you can see that uh, uh, I am just writing it down in a linear fashion but you can see the new reshaped matrix should have 8 amount of rows and only 2 amount of columns ok but I have written 
like uh, there is not only two amount of columns you can easily see i have already written eight amount of columns so this is not possible so how we are going to do that in a efficient manner okay so consider this as uh, suppose we have to build up eight into two so this is the first row this is the second row third row fourth row fifth sixth seventh and let's say we have eight one also right okay so let me first uh, move it up a little bit okay so uh, rather than i am going to do that okay so i think uh, yes it is good okay so let's begin so suppose we have to fill up these eight rows and also we need to take care for that number of columns remains two so i will just start filling like two and uh, this is the first column and moving uh, further to this three you can see that i cannot fill over here because the number of columns will exceed the value of C, which is 2. So next value is 7. So I will fill up 7 over here. Then 6. Then next value is like this is traverse. 9. Then 6. Then 3. And then 3. And then you can see 2, 4, 8, 8. And then 7, 6, 5, 5. Okay, so this is the way I am going to do. Okay, so how we are going to write an efficient code to... Uh, get this as the output of this reshape matrix okay so need, no need to worry about i'm going to explain it in a very easiest manner you can see n is the mat dot size and m is the number of columns so if this condition holds it means that number of elements are not matching hence it is not possible to reshape the matrix right so that is the product of initial rows and columns which will be the total number of elements now and this is adding to see which is the total number of elements later on after reshaping the matrix if both is not equal you can see that we need to return matrix that is the original matrix according to the problem statement right now uh, suppose this condition holds false it means that reshaping is possible so let's take x as 0 and y as 0 what is this x and y is doing over here so x and y is basically the like you can say the coordinates that i am going to fetch from the original matrix okay so if x is 0 and y is 0 it means that i am just uh, pointing it out the very first element right now okay so if x is 0 and y is 1 i am pointing to the very like 0 comma 1 cell of this matrix if x is 0 and y is 2 i am pointing to this element so if x is like 2 and y is like 3 so i am pointing to this element right note that i am talking about the original matrix this uh, these variables are being used to like uh, pitch out the elements for the original matrix right now this answer is basically the reshaped matrix so let me write down reshaped matrix okay note that the dimensions are r and c r is the number of rows and c is the number of columns now i trade for this r and c and fill up the values like for every r that is for every i belongs to 0 to r and j belongs to 0 to c i have to fill up this answer of ig and what should be the answer of ig you can see I'm just writing down mat of x and y plus plus that is fetching out the current x y element in my original matrix and I'm also after fetching it out I'm incrementing my value of y okay it means that if I'm at current this row I'm fetching this element my next uh, that is my next element would be this one my next element would be like this one and my next element would be like this one and my next element would be like this one but here you can see there is no element so I just move on to the next row okay so if y reaches the value of m it means that i need to just move to the next row so i will just increment my x and i should have to take y as y modulo m so modulo m will be like uh, m is the total number of columns if i will take modulo with m i will come back to the very first column right so and finally return the answer so let us submit this code and check it out if it is the best solution for this or not yes it is good so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.